Hi, everybody. Okay. Thank you. You may go. <laughs> okay, so um, we are picking up with the right skin. I say picking up because I actually wound up running out of memory in the tiny little shitty memory card that I use on this piece of $30 Amazon camera. Luckily, uh, I had a 32 gigabyte uh, card of the same nature that was in my Garmin G5, right? So G5, you can put a 32, up to a 32 gig uh, micro SD card to record, you know, engine monitoring stuff. Okay, great. So I reformatted it, put it in the camera, so I had a little extra time. Uh, I did lose the last oh, hour or so of doing the uh, doing the left skin. I apologize. All it was was just uh, using the squeezer to put uh, nut plates in. So here you can see I'm fervently pull riveting the whole thing in place on the right side. And I went ahead and I went ahead and I uh, put that one and one eighth inch hole uh, two and a half inches behind, uh, I say behind, like backwards of the uh, mic amp plug. <clears throat> like I mentioned in the last video, I'm putting USB charging ports on both sides of the planes. So there's going to be like a pocket there, right? So the, the area underneath the armrest is really good size for like having a pocket, right? It's, it's, it's just the right dimensions. And some people, you know, it's about big enough to put a bottle of water, which is fantastic. Uh, I'm building it so that you have the, uh, you know, USB charging ports there, and then a nice, comfortable place to slide a phone or two. So that, that was the idea behind putting them both on both sides. As opposed to, like, the center, right? Because the center is going to have its own stuff, but it's not the kind of place you want to be messing around all the time. With a lot of extraneous hard moments going, oh, let me do this, let me do this, let me get to my phone. We don't want that. Uh, you can see I've got the uh, seat adjust hinges riveted to the left side. And I will be riveting to the ones to the right um, in the next video. Stuff I should actually might be doing this afternoon. Uh, sorry for the darkness. I had been trapped at the airport, not trapped, a uh, friend of mine, uh, the next door neighbor, my buddy Colin, who has his uh, VTEL Bonanza next door, had this crew of people come in that do airplane polishing, uh, and they're out of, uh, I think Seattle, I'm not 100% I'm not sure where they're out of, but they do a fantastic job. Uh, I mean, it's not a short process, you know, even a one little 172, it takes about six hours, right, because there's cutting, buffing, polishing, uh, over and over, degreasing, the cleaning, debugging. They did everything interior, exterior, every wheel well, every nook and cranny. And then they put a nice ceramic coating over the whole thing. That's key. That's look, the stuff's not cheap, but it's worth it because. Uh, anyway, I'll, let me just trust me. I'll show you pictures later. Uh, so, just continuing to rivet on this right uh, bottom skin. Uh, in the next videos, we will be continuing to work on that and putting on some other uh, stuff. So, you know, see you soon.